Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Mathematics videos. Today we'll be discussing about trigonometry and in that we'll be solving the problems related to trigonometrical identities. So let's start. In order to solve the problems proving that left hand side is equal to right hand side, we have to understand the basics and we have to remember those basics as well as the steps so that it's easy for us to solve these identities. So let us review that quickly. So you can see here a right angle triangle in which one angle is 90 degree and the side opposite to 90 degree is known as hypotenuse. And we have another angle theta apart from this 90 degree. This theta is the angle that we are talking about in the trigonometric ratios. So the side which has both the angles like this angle theta as well as 90 degree is known as the adjacent or the other name is the base and the side which is opposite to this angle theta is known as opposite or perpendicular. You can use any of the word the meaning is saying. So if we take this into consideration then sine theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse or you can say opposite upon hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse or adjacent upon hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base or opposite upon adjacent. And as far as the identities are concerned then we will be using these three identities solve various problems. The first identity is that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Then secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and then cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So now in case you have to find the value of sine square theta you can always write 1 minus cos square theta here. You can take the cos square theta here. Similarly if you need to find the value of cos square theta you can write it as 1 minus sine square theta. Apart from you know if you have these values sine square theta plus cos square theta you can write it that 1. Similarly, if you have to find the value of secant square theta, you need to substitute the value of secant square theta. You can substitute as 1 plus tan square theta. And when you need to substitute the value of tan square theta, you take tan square theta here and 1 on the left hand side. So here secant square theta minus 1 will be equal to tan square theta. Similarly, if you have to find the value of cosecant square theta, you can always write cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. And if you need to find the value of cot square theta, you can take cot square theta here and 1 on the left hand side. So here, cosecant square theta minus 1 will be equal to cot square theta. Now these were the identities. Apart from the identities we need to follow some steps so that it's easy for us to solve these identities. The first step is to convert it into sine and cos form. Now what do you mean by this? By this I mean that we can always write tan theta as sine theta upon cos theta and tan theta is also equal to 1 upon cos theta. That means cos theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So cos theta can be written as cos theta upon sine theta. Similarly, the reciprocal of sine theta is cosecant theta. So we can write sine theta as 1 upon cosecant theta or cosecant theta as 1 upon sine theta. Similarly, we can write cos theta equal to 1 upon secant theta or we can write secant theta as 1 upon cos theta. So this is like converting into the basics that is sine and cos form. We can write tan theta as sine theta upon cos theta. We can write cos theta as cos theta upon sine theta. We can write cosecant theta as 1 upon sine theta and we can write secant theta as 1 upon cos theta. These steps will help you to form majority of the questions but yes there are some exceptions where you know we have to follow some different steps. So after the converting this we have to take the LCM and then we need to apply the identities to uh, prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So now here you can see the first question. Let's solve this first question. 
The first question is that we have to prove the identity that is tan A plus cot A is equal to secant A into cosecant A. I will be solving the left hand side so I'm writing it here. So the first step is to convert it into sine and cos form. So tan A will be equal to sine A upon cos A and cot A will be equal to cos A upon sine a. Now, the second step is to take the LCM. So, the LCM in this case will be cos A into sine A. So, if we compare the denominator of this first term and the LCM, we are left with sine A. This sine A will get multiplied with this sine A and we will get sine square A. One thing I would like to tell you that in trigonometric identities, sine A whole square is equivalent to sine square A. You can write it down in this form. This form is more appropriate as compared to this form when solving the questions. So here, instead of writing sine A whole square, I will be writing sine square A. Similarly, if we compare this uh, second term and the denominator of the second term and the LCM, we are left with cos A. So if I multiply this cos A with this cos A, I would be getting cos square a. So instead of writing cos a whole square, I am writing it as cos square a. Now, if you see here, this is the first identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So I will apply this first identity and I will write in the numerator as 1 because sine square a plus cos square a will be equal to 1. And in the denominator, we are left with cos a into sine a. We have one numerator and the denominator has cos a into sine a. So if I take this into consideration, 1 upon cos a, this is equal to secant a. As 1 upon cos a is equal to secant a. And 1 upon sine a is equal to cosecant a. So now if you can see here that we have got left hand side as secant A into cosecant A which is equal to the right hand side. So now the left hand side is equal to right hand side, hence proved. Now the second question. So I will be solving the left hand side in which cos raised to power 4a minus sine raised to power 4a need to be proved equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. Now if I see the steps convert into sine and cos form, there is no need because it is already in the cos and the sine form. And taking the LCM, we don't have any denominator. So we won't be taking the LCM. Then the third step is to apply the identities. For the identities, their values has to be in the square form, not raised to power 4 form. So I would be rewriting this cos 4a minus sine 4a in the square form like sine square theta or cos square theta so that it's easy for me to apply the identity. So I can rewrite this cos 4a as cos square a raised to power square minus sine square a raised to power square. Now if you observe this, this is of the form a square minus b square. If I take cos square a as a and sine square a as b, then this becomes a square minus b square and the formula for the a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. So I would be using this formula to simplify this further. The first bracket it will be a because cos square a is equal to a plus b. b is sine square a. So this is the first bracket and the second bracket is a minus b. That is cos square a minus sine square a. Now if you see this first bracket this becomes the first identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. So the first bracket is 1 and in the second bracket we are left with cos square a minus sine square a. But if we compare it with the right hand side, on the right hand side we just need the cos values. We don't require the sine value, sine square a value. So what we should do? 
what we are going to do here is that we're going to substitute the value of sine square a or sine square theta in terms of cos square theta. So here, if I use this identity, I can write sine square theta is equal to, if I take this cos square theta here, then it becomes 1 minus cos square theta. So I would be substituting the value of sine square a as 1 minus cos square a here. So now I got cos square a minus, then I'm substituting the value as 1 minus cos square a. Now on opening the bracket, we get cos square a minus 1, minus into minus is plus cos square a. Now being of the same sign, cos square a plus cos square a will become 2 cos square a and this is minus 1. So our left hand side is 2 cos square a minus 1 which is equal to the right hand side. So here left hand side is equal to right hand side hence proved. Now the third question, we need to prove that 1 plus cot a whole square plus 1 minus cot a whole square is equal to 2 cosecant square a. Again, I would be solving the left hand side. Now in this case, the first step is to convert into sine and cos form. Here, before converting it further, I would like to open the brackets by applying the formulas a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. We know that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So instead of converting into sine and cos form, I would uh, like to first open this so that, you know, uh, if something has to get cancelled, it will get cancelled and I will get a simplified equation. And then if required, I can take the LCM. I think there is no need for that because we don't have any denominator here. And once I apply the formula of a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square and get a simplified form, then I can say that I can uh, think of applying the identities. So let's open these bracket and see what we get. So this will be a square plus 2ab plus b square. And the second bracket will be, this is plus a square minus 2ab and this is b square. You can clearly see that this one and this one will get cancelled. And 1 square is 1 and the 1 square is 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Plus, I can write cot a whole square as cot square a and again this will be cot square a. So here we are left with 2 plus 2 cot square a. Now if I take 2 common, I am left with 1 plus cot square a. Now it is in the square form. So let us see whether we can apply the identity or not. We have one identity related to cot square theta that is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So if I write this identity here that is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 and if I take this cot square theta here so then it becomes cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. Why I'm doing this? Because on the right hand side, I want the value as cosecant square theta, not as 1 plus cot square theta. So I need to convert this into cosecant square theta in order to uh, prove left hand side is equal to right hand side. So here I can substitute the value of 1 plus cot square theta as cosecant square theta. So on substituting the value, I will get 2 into cosecant square a which is the right hand side. So left hand side is equal to right hand side hence proved. Now the next question. Again I will be solving the left hand side. Now it is in the tan form. You must be thinking that we should convert it into sine and cos form. Again I will say no it is an exception because if you see here we have an identity which connects secant square theta and tan square theta. So instead of converting into the basic form that is sine and cos, so we can directly apply the identity in one form or the other. And as as we don't have a denominator, we cannot apply LCM. So the third step is to apply the identities. Again, it has to be in the square form. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take tan square a common. So here we are left with tan square a 
plus one. Now I would like to use this identity. This identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one. Because here on the right hand side we want in the secant for a minus secant square a form. So here I can write tan square a uh, plus one in secant square a form. How? So secant square theta can be written as one plus tan square theta if I take tan square theta here. So I can substitute the value of tan square theta as secant square theta. So in the second bracket I will be substituting the value of tan square a plus 1 as secant square uh, but still we have tan square a on the left hand side and we want only secants on the right hand side. So again I'm going to substitute the value of tan square a. So again this is the identity. Now if I want to substitute the value of tan square theta, I'm going to take tan square theta here and bring 1 here. So it will be secant square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta. So now I can substitute the value of tan square a as secant square a minus 1. So let us substitute and see what we get. So this will be secant square a minus 1 into secant square a. Now I'm going to uh, multiply these two brackets. So multiplying secant square a with secant square a, I will get secant 4a. And then multiplying a secant square a with minus 1, I will get secant square a. A. So if now you see then the left hand side is exactly equal to the right hand side. So hence proved. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos you can visit our website transielearning.com. Have a great day.